Salut everyone, Air Max here. Have you ever wondered like why I love Escape from Tarkov so much? Well, I love it because I played it and streamed it live on my Twitch channel for years. And I also won like uh, the first like Twitch tournament uh, on, on this one. It was a little bit controversial, but I I'm still a North American champion on paper for uh, Escape from Tarkov. And something I've been really, really missing is playing the game on Linux. Well, guess what? It's now possible. Let's get into it. As always, I'm going to start with a little bit of context. In this video, I won't be giving you all the instruction to install single player Tarkov on your Linux machine. I won't do it because I heard that BSG is not a really happy about uh, this specific mod and they kind of like targeted a youtube channel who made video about it and you know like uh, some type of like tutorial so i won't be covering that however what i can cover without any issue is some gameplay and some voiceover on top of it to explain you how uh, you can make this run on your machine and how, how cool it, it is actually like it, it is super cool so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a link in the description below toward the website of spt which is single player tarkov what you are watching right now is actually like escape from tarkov but the single player mod version of it this mod is not official and just to make the thing super clear to play this mod you need to own a paid version of escape from tarkov otherwise you won't be able to use it so there is nothing relating to you know like axor and like uh you know like uh, you know pirated game or any of that this is not the case you need to pay for escape from tarkov and this mod give you the opportunity to play offline and it's pretty cool because for you guys who are on Windows still and can enjoy uh, Escape from Tarkov online, sometimes, you know, like this game can become pretty stressful. Uh, sometimes the, the servers are offline. Sometimes uh, you, you just want to play, you know, quest on your own, do some PvP, PvE, like ju just like something different from what you are used to do online and, and i say pvp pve we will get there you're, you're gonna be surprised let's say the normal server from bsg are down and you want to continue to play no problem you launch this mod because this mod is going to be able to coexist with your actual installation of escape from tarkov and you just run the game locally and this is just crazy because it gives you the opportunity to continue your quest, to have like multiple characters, to have uh, some type of like achievement. You know, everything is recorded in the local database. So you have like your full progression of the game, but locally as a single player. So, you know, one of the arguments they use on their website is the fact you can not escape the cheater. I know like cheating and cheater in general has been like a main topic and really like a pain for all the gamers like that out there who love escape from Tarkov and play on their official server like it's a pain. So this is kind of like giving you the opportunity to have your own progression without any cheater. And man, I've been playing this mod for a long time now and I can tell you this is awesome. This is just awesome. Let, let me tell you straight. I love the game, I love Escape from Tarkov and I was really reluctant to, to make a video about it because I was like, darn, uh, you know, I don't want to have issue with BSG because, you know, I, I do believe like they did a great job for the game, but I also think like they are not putting enough emphasis against the cheater and also believe they don't support Linux, which is just a pain. So just for a reminder, they said they will support it one day, but we have been waiting for like two years now. And they don't look like they want to move on with, you know, supporting Linux anytime soon, which is a shame. At least with this mod, you can play on your machine and enjoy your license. Uh, personally, uh, I, I was really sad about the fact that 
I couldn't play Tarkov anymore on my Linux machine. And this mod gave me the opportunity to play it. So now let's talk about the experience a little bit. Like, how is it to play single player on a game which is really oriented toward like, I would say competitive, uh, but really like online when you have like this pressure about losing your gear to someone else. And man, I've been really impressed. I've been really impressed because using the mod as a base, because you will see like the mod itself, SPT, I don't know if you call that a mod, but like this version of, of Tarkov has actually a huge community who creates mod on top of it. But just using the vanilla version of SPT it, it was just amazing. So let, let me give you an example. You will notice that the actual game and red, they have like also like players in it. So obviously those players are not real. There is no connection between like your instance and anybody else instance. Like this is single player. But the server itself like generates fake players who are jumping and who are actually doing mission within the game. And man, this is awesome. So those guys are gonna be following you, they're gonna be reacting, they're gonna be fighting the scav. And you really have the feeling you are in a in an online game. It, it's really nice. Another thing which is really funny, like I don't want to do any spoiler, but the game is vanilla. So you're gonna have all the latest like update from uh, the actual like game from BSG because you, uh, I, I repeat, like you paid for it and you still have an like, account connected to them, everything is fine. But on the side, you're gonna be able to play offline. And what it means really is that you're gonna have the latest update. You're gonna have uh, the latest feature of Escape from Tarkov on your single player Tarkov like edition there. And this is just so, so good, right? Like, yeah, 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 this, this is really nice. You're gonna have like this vanilla experience. And if there is new quest, well, they're gonna appear in your game in single player mode, which is just awesome. So a point I wanna mention real quick is like I was doing my quest and I killed a, a, a player, like, right, like an AI player. And after getting out of my instance of my red, like extracting, I received a message within the game and the guy was like trolling me. And I was like, dude, this is so cool. It would be like, like exactly like in real life when I would kill someone and some guy would come and rage, rage against me, like they went that far. So I was really surprised. I, I thought it was pretty cool. So I already mentioned it, but the other like nice part is the fact you can have multiple profile. So you can have, you know, a basic profile and let's say you finished it, like you have your Kappa and whatever, and you want to start from scratch, but you don't want to erase it or you don't want to buy a new account. Boom, you create a new profile and you are in. So this is, this is just really, really good in my opinion. Like uh, it's, there is a lot, lot, lot of mods you can try. So they all work, I believe, on Linux. There is no issue running the game on Linux. Um, so yeah, let's, let's talk about performance. When we think about performance on Linux, you are always, you know, a little bit behind in certain game and sometimes you are above. So in this game, you are a little bit behind. I know the game on Windows is pretty stressful and I've seen a lot of streamers playing, playing it. I'm talking about SPT, not Tarkov and having their machine like totally destroyed. So what I noticed on my hand is that I had to tweak the settings a little bit and I had to use X11. When playing on Wayland, for whatever reason, the game was really struggling, but playing on X11, I had a super experience. I would say, uh, make sure, at least like for me, I had to activate V-Sync. So what I did, like deactivated V-Sync at the driver level, and then I activated VSync in the game. So it's something you would have also to do on Windows to uncap the FPS and give you the, the best performance. And I did it in the game and it worked really nice. I don't have any stutter on X11. On Wayland, uh, when the bots are loading for whatever reason, I have a drop of, of the frame rate and it kind of like uh, make my game stutter. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's more like a Wayland or X Wayland issue rather than uh, th the mod itself. But be ready to have a strong PC because all your AI is actually managed 
by the instance of your game not the instance of the server and and something i want to mention too so to, to install the game i can't really talk about it i'm gonna put a link in the description below towards the specific online tutorial you can find to install it on linux but the game itself comes in two parts you have one server and then you have the instance of spt and i thought the server would be running all the ai and i was thinking about putting my server on another machine to uh, you know like decrease uh, the cpu time and you know any type of stutter by forwarding some of the workload on another machine but you, it doesn't work this way the, the server itself is really light and it is just a database so by putting it on another machine it won't help your performance at all maybe a little if you are already like capped to, to the max but i'm pretty sure like it's gonna be like useless the amount of work you're gonna have to put into that to do it won't be worth it at, at all so you understand it like everything is on uh, the client itself all the ai is generated on this side and man like uh, you're gonna need a, a big machine okay it's not related to linux or windows or anything it's just the fact that it's pretty like cpu intensive and after talking of some of the members on, on discord of spt uh, it's, it's a common problem the biggest recommendation especially for escape from tarkov in general is to run one of those like 3 gv cache cpu so with my 5950x and my 4090 i still had like a decent amount of fps like no problem but i could tell like sometimes it's a little bit struggling so i'm thinking like make sure you have a powerful machine if you want to enjoy this so yeah if you want to have uh, more information about this game i really invite you to join their discord and uh, you know get there ask them whatever you want like there is so many people connected there so the community is really welcoming and i've been again like playing it for a long time i was just like you know not at 100 percent about making a video about it but here we are so guys i want to thank all uh, the active subscribers of this channel we are almost at 10,000 subscribers so thank you very much uh, for your support thanks for watching this video uh, if you want to go further i really invite you uh, to become a member on my patreon or on youtube it really helps a lot I want to thank all uh, the viewers who helped me financially. Guys, you are the best. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Am I forgetting something? Uh, oh, yes, I'm forgetting something. Guys, I might be playing this game uh, during one of my live streams. So uh, don't forget to turn on the notification. I'm, I'm going to be uh, streaming on Wednesday and, and Friday every week. So uh, make sure you are here to see how we own those bots on uh, single player Tarkov. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Thank you again for watching the video and bisous bisous. Take care everyone.